a new name in men's fashion. So uh, you're looking for a casual look, right? A rising star in upmarket department stores around the world. We do a lot of suede, I mean... Now stocked in Hong Kong and mainland China, Christian Kimber is also making a name in Europe and the United States. We do well overseas because we're selling a concept of Australian lifestyle and everyone wants an Australian lifestyle, right? Yeah, it's cool, huh? This is a uh, Italian linen, super lightweight, super cool holiday shirt. So what I really want to do is create clothing that they feel comfortable in, created for our lifestyle. Yeah, the colour is cool, huh? Yeah, sure. The award-winning designer's clothes are now found among the world's top labels. We do a lot of raincoats. This is uh, Italian cotton from Lake Como. You know, this, a lot of our mills, they're kind of known for making uh, sustainable fabrics. If you feel this one, it feels super lightweight. It, it is waterproof as well. From his head office in Fitzroy's busy shopping strip, Christian Kimber is slowly redefining Australian menswear. Our guy is really diverse. A 65-year-old or a 70-year-old come in, then we've got a 25-year-old, and they're so different in what they need, um, but they all just really react the same way to they just like beautiful things, right? Every man wants to look like, a, I think, like a 35-year-old, like James Bond or something, I think. Christian learned his trade in London, studying at night school while working days in the rag trade. I met my now wife in London. She had to come back and I decided to come with her. Transitioning to Australian life was a challenge for the 24-year-old. Men's fashion here is small and I, you know, my, my skill set is very specialised. He began collaborating with local artists on designer shoes. We use really specialised techniques in a lot of our shoes, some things are hand-painted, some of our rubber is, is recycled rubber. Later, designing elegant clothes that are crafted with care. We work with only small family businesses. We have a factory we work with in Brunswick, uh, which is about 10 minutes from my store, which is amazing. We have a factory in Bulgaria and Sofia, which is another family business, and we also have three or four in Italy. Most of our fabrics we make in Italy, Italy is really known for the best fabrics in the world. Hey, what's up, mate? You, uh, hey, Christian, how are you? Working on our shirt, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Christian's business is growing steadily offshore, thanks to Global Victoria, which has introduced him to foreign buyers and journalists. We've had more uh, online sales to Hong Kong and Singapore and, and, and throughout Asia. As a small fashion brand, it's hard to stand out. A lot of people have massive marketing budgets, and so if we can find ways to cut through, then that's incredible. Global Victoria's networks have further supported his international growth. They put us in touch with a new lawyer because I was asking a lot of questions about trademarks, and we've now registered our trademark in China and uh, as well as you know globally. It's a ripple effect and it keeps happening and to be able to have Global Victoria as mentors and friends. So I think the jacket might need a few minor alterations. And they'll say, look, this is the structure you need to put in place or this is who you need to speak to. It's invaluable to us as a small business. You're going to wear it in this time, do you know what I mean? Business Victoria have been incredibly supportive because they help put us on a pedestal and, and help people discover what we do. And I think it's like a centimetre in here, mate. So we're going to bring it in just from the knee down. We're in a small business in Melbourne. We've got customers all around Australia and they can just, they found us through different channels and Business Victoria has been uh, massively supportive in that way as well. Ready for the clubs, mate. It hasn't been an easy journey, though with a new store planned in 2020 and a growing list of online clients, Christian has hit his targets. Definitely not overnight. It's been uh, you know, a five-year journey to get to this point. Uh, and I'm really proud, you know, it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of late nights and you know, anyone who runs a small business knows that it, it just takes grit and determination to keep going. Yeah.